This is an example of a small multiples chart. It uses data from Bank of America Merrill Lynch and it was originally created in Tableau by Emily Tessarero. I'm going to look at how we create this same chart in Excel. And one of the challenges in Excel is getting this vertical line inside of a bar chart. Now this looks like one chart, but it's actually an illusion. It's a series of individual bar charts and I've just stacked them close together so they look like one. My data is on this sheet here and you'll see I have a separate table of data for each spend category. I've got my actual value, the maximum and the average. And if we look at the chart here, the actual values are the gray bars, the maximum are green and the average are the dashed line. So to insert one of these charts, I need to select just the actual and max first. We'll insert a 2D bar chart. I need to set this series to overlap. So we'll do that. Control one to format the data series. We'll set the overlap to 100%. And while we're here, let's set the gap width to 30. It's just going to make the bars a bit wider. Next, we need to add the average. So I'm going to select the data, including the header, Control C, select the outer edge of the chart. And then on the home tab, we're going to paste special. This opens the chart paste special dialog box. We're going to add a new series with the Y values in the columns and the series name is in the first row. So click OK. This is our average series. Now the first thing I need to do is put it on the secondary axis. Now we need to make sure these axes are set to the same size. So let's change the maximum to 0.2. And now they're the same size. It just makes sure that the alignment of this is correct. Now I want to add a trend line to these gray bars. So we'll click the plus and I want a linear trend line. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of formatting because I want to get rid of that legend. It's taking up too much space. I don't need my horizontal axes because I'm going to add data labels. I just want to add the data labels to the blue series. So let's put them inside the base. Okay, that'll do for now. Now we can just see the trend line there. I want to hide these gray bars. So control one, I'm going to set them to no fill. Now I can select my trend line and let's go about formatting that. We'll make it a darker shade of gray, change the dash to a bit wider. And I want the trend line to extend to the top and bottom of the bars. So let's make a change to the forward forecast and make that 10. And now it touches the top and bottom. We can tidy up the chart a little bit more. Let's get rid of the grid lines because we've got these labels, we don't need them. So I'm just selecting them, I'll press the delete key. Let's format the font white so it's easier to read. And I want my vertical axis sorted in the opposite order. As you can see in my data, it starts with millennials and ends in traditionalists. So this is currently back to front. So I'm going to control one to open the format axis dialog box, and I'm going to choose categories in reverse order. Now I can do a little bit more formatting. Maybe I want my fill for these bars to be a gray color. And let's make this one Excel green for the maximum. All we need to do now is link the chart title. So with it selected in the formula bar, I'm going to type equals and then choose the cell with the label, press enter. And now it's linked to that cell. If I change that cell, it will feed through to my chart. Let's get rid of the border on the outside of the chart so that we can align them closer together. And I'll just make it a bit smaller. And we'll see how we go about making the next one. So basically, I want to duplicate this chart. So with the outside selected, Control D to duplicate. Now you can see it's selected and it's still referencing these cells. So let's just left click and drag them. All I need to do now is I can't left click and drag that, but I can right click and go into select data and I can just edit that cell. So instead of that one, I want that one. And for this one, instead of that one, I want that one. And average probably doesn't really matter for the label, but I like to keep everything together. I'll click OK. I just need to hide these again. So let's set them to no fill and we can set our series colors. I think there's a bug in mine. It should copy the colors, but I'm on an insider build of Excel, which means sometimes it's a little bit uh, unpredictable, shall we say. So let's change that to Excel green. Oh, and I've lost my data labels. Goodness me. So we'll put them 
inside the base. And we'll format that in white. And let's link this to cell 14. 14. Now, because I want to align these beside one another, I want to reuse this axis rather than having it repeat. So let's just hide the axis. We'll turn the labels to none. And now they're aligned side by side. Let's close that. I can also align my chart title to the left just to be consistent. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is give my chart a title overall because I've got multiple charts and create a legend because the legend that comes with the chart is too noisy, particularly with the trend lines. So let's just use some shapes. I need a text box for the chart title. And let's set the font. We'll use Segoe Yui Light and we'll make it a bit bigger. Okay, so that's my chart title. We'll get rid of the border on that so that it's not visible. Okay, chart title's done. We just need a legend now. So I'm going to insert a box that will represent my max bars. So let's set that fill to green and no outline. And we'll insert a dashed line. I'm just holding down the shift key to make sure the line is drawn straight. So let's change the format. Uh, actually, it's this dark gray and we want it a bit thicker. And it's annoying that you have to keep going to this drop down and dash line. Actually, it looks like it needs to be much thicker. Let's change it to that one. OK, so now we just need to label these and we can use a text box for that. So I'll insert another text box. This will be the average. Let's make the font smaller and the box a bit bigger. OK. We'll just align them and we'll get rid of the border. And we'll get rid of the fill. And I'll just copy this average box and reuse it for the max. Okay, so we just need to do a little bit of aligning and we're done. So you need to obviously rinse and repeat this particular chart for the rest of the categories and then align them all beside each other. Make sure that the horizontal axis values are the same in each chart so that they're consistently sized. One thing you might want to consider and it wasn't done in Emily's original chart, but Notice that this 10% bar is much bigger than this 15% bar. And that's fine if you're comparing vertical data, which in this case we are. But if you wanted to compare one chart to the next, then you might want to consider making all of the axis lengths the same. I think it's fine in this scenario, but just bear that in mind to be consistent. If you were to position these vertically, then you want to make sure that these scales were identical. OK, so that is how you insert a vertical line in a bar chart in Excel. You can go ahead and download the workbook. There'll be a link in the video description. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.